Hey guys, it's me, Dario. Welcome back to my channel. So today's task for me is to educate you guys about perfumery history, about grass and why is it really important to perfumery world, um, how the perfumes are made and all of that jazz. So if you want to get a bit of history about perfume, just keep on watching. So while visiting Italy, we've also visited a tiny place called Grass in France and then in that place, in that city, I've learned quite a bit of perfumery history that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So, so right now at the top of the video, I really want to ask you guys a question that I would really like for you to answer in the comment section down below, whether you knew or not that the grass, the city, uh, the center of France perfumery is a prototype to a city in Patrick Suskin's book Perfume, the story of a murderer. It was a shocking reveal for me uh, while traveling because, well, I've read the book quite a few years ago and I watched the film, I believe it's a 2006 release starring uh, Alan Rickman and Dustin Hoffman, so it's quite a good film to watch if you have never done that. Uh, that's a recommendation from, from you guys, you know. And uh, I've never thought that the center, the city uh, from that film is actually quite real in the real life, you know. Uh, so that's a question for you guys. How many of you knew? Have you knew that or didn't? Yeah, so that's a fun fact right at the start of the video, but now let's get into the history. So as most of us know, the history of scents comes down to Egyptian times when the fact that he used a lot of stuff, I would say, uh, to, you know, hide the filthiness, hide the bad smell and all of that jazz, but grass has made the first perfume right out of the floral petals and it was a huge discovery to the world and grass got famous because of it in the 16th century. From the 17th century this city was ruled by three dynasties because they were able to extract the materials, create products and sell them like nobody else could. And these three dynasties are Gallimard, Molinach and Fragonach. Right now I'm feeling like a French girl. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Two more interesting facts about grass. So the first one is that grass rules around 10%, one tenth of world's perfumery. And it's crazy to say because the city is really small, you know? And to rule the world with perfum, with perfume, with products that contains perfume, it's crazy. It's just crazy to me, but it's an astonishing find while traveling. Wow. I would recommend to visit Grasse for everybody that likes perfume, that likes history of perfume and is fascinated by it. And the second interesting fact, actually the last interesting fact that I wanted to say about the grass is that this small city is known to have the best soil in the world to extract raw materials to create produce of perfume. If you are not fascinated by the city up till now, I have another shocker for you and yeah, I know. It's shocker after shocker after shocker and I'm super super happy about the ability to share this with you guys. So this shocker is that the Ganymed uh, factory and the fume store at the same time has the ability to offer customers to create their own perfume. Unfortunately, I did not have a chance nor the time to do that, but I will be definitely going back to that city again in a year or two or three. I don't know, but I will be back to create my own perfume. As sad as it is, 
I did not get the chance to create the perfume for myself, but I had the ability to walk around the factory, get to know the process of creating perfume, and that's what I want to share with you guys right now. So let's get into it. When we first opened the door to Gallimard factory, we actually saw a glossed wall with flowers from all around the world. And I believe that it indicates from where in the world the flowers were extracted to create certain perfumes. And then we came to the first stop where the instruments of perfumery making process was held. And we actually thought that we came to the alcohol making factory because the storing places, the you know, these huge containers, uh, metal containers, looked like they are brewing wine or beer but no unfortunately no, well not unfortunately we came to the right spot where the perfumes were made and those containers were specially made for perfume storing at this stop we learned about the scent extraction from raw materials how grease helps to store it and so on it is actually so interesting to know of how many of flower petals you have to collect to create a certain amount of solution or scent. So imagine for one liter of lavender solution you have to collect 150 kilograms of lavender and for one liter of rose perfume you have to collect five tones of rose petals five tones that's why the rose perfumes are super not super but more expensive than other, than other perfumes after this information was told to us we actually went further into the factory and we went to a corridor with interesting reservoirs bottles and liquids also had a chance to smell raw vanilla, cinnamon and already made solutions from the stand. But then we had a chance to see how this industry actually works. We saw how personnel was thinking of a new scent, saw how the solutions were combined, how the bottles were sealed, and how they were packaged by hand. And then we got a chance to smell test everything that we liked and buy it for ourselves. So you have so here we are after a few weeks this tired looking bag can go to the retirement because well he went through a lot while traveling and he still holds the goodies that I bought for myself and my family actually because well it's a disclaimer for you guys I bought two fragrances as you saw in the video but 
I do not love one actually. So the thing that I want to say right now is do not rush into buying perfumes. Smell test them for a few times a week, buy a small container or try it from your friends. Just do not rush into buying from first smelling it because you might you might get burned you might get your wallet burned and i do not want it for you from you for you guys because well i spend quite a bit of money and unfortunately i will have to give one fragrance to my mom so what do i have in this side looking back at me as so it actually contains the same goodies as you saw in the last clip of the tour. Uh, so let's just start with an easy one. I actually bought a lemon soap. It smells and looks like a lemon. Is it is an easy one? It costs three euros and fifty cents, so around four euros. And I hope that it will clean our hands nicely. Yeah, so this is basically it. Let's get into the good stuff. So these are the goodies that I'm talking about. These are two perfumes, the best quality fragrances that Gollimart can offer us. And as you saw in the video, the boxes looks like this. And I don't know. It it is quite a simplistic one actually and I mean I quite like it it's it's nothing luxurious looking or nothing like that but the cost of one of these fragrances makes sense perfumes with 24% of perfum is actually costing actually cost 69 euros so 70 euros for a perfume is a luxury that everyone can afford in my opinion it is not expensive at all even though it's a niche fragrance so the first fragrance that i picked up for myself is i actually don't know let's check it oh it's it's feminism and this is the fragrance that I do not love. It is strictly floral and super sweet one. I think it is perfect for anyone that loves floral notes and wants to have a soft, cozy smell for autumn or early spring, maybe? Yeah, it's warm, it's sweet, it's floral, and I think that is why it's called Feminissime. Uh, because most of men do not wear strictly floral scents. So this is all that I am saying right now. If you want a full review of this fragrance, just comment that down in the comment section. And I will try to do it. And the second fragrance that I brought to myself home and will actually use it myself is with an interesting name, which is Printemps Etoile. So this fragrance is interesting because of its sweetness, but, at, but freshness at the same time. It makes me wonder if it has pear and tonka bean in it. But while smelling this perfume, I'm traveling back to childhood. I don't know, it reminds me of something, but I cannot pick up on what it is. So yeah, Pretemps Atole is my fragrance uh, of the travel. It's a travel souvenir for myself and I'm really happy about it. It makes me feel happy, you know, and this is what I wish for all of you. So if you want a full review of this or the other perfume, just comment that down in a comment section. 
And with this, I want to wish you a happy, happy and sunny, sunny day. Bye.